Hello, Sigmas. Today I'm back with another very interesting problem in physics. And in fact, it is not only interesting, but also something really, really special. And the thing that makes this problem so very special is the method that I'm going to use into solving this problem. But before we get into solution of the problem, let us first understand what exactly the problem is. So over here we have a disk, a disk which has a radius of 2i. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to punch a hole into this disk such that the edge of the hole touches the edge of the disk. And the hole itself has a radius of r such that the other edge touches the center of the pre-existing disk. And now what you have to do is you need to find the center of mass of the remnant disk. You have to find the center of mass of this remnant disk. This. Now, as I told you, the method I'm going to use into solving this problem is really, really special and in fact, mind blowing because you're going to see that it is not something that we experience in physical life, but it is going to be a mathematical trick. But before I tell you the special trick or the secret formula, let me first ask you to do a simple homework. So for the homework, what you have to do is you need to find the center of mass of the remnant disk using our traditional method. That is, you need to use this formula. RCUM is equal to 1 by M integral of R dm. I want you to use this uh, formula, the traditional formula that we use to find the center of mass of any random body to find the center of mass of this remnant disk, the disk uh, which remains after I punch a hole into it. So just pause this video right away and go try it out yourself. You done? You tried? Okay, so let me now quickly tell you the secret of uh, finding the center of mass of such bodies into which a hole or a vacancy is made. And then you can verify whether the answer that I get by using this method matches with your answer that you have got by using the traditional method of uh, solving the center of mass of any random body. So in this uh, secret method, what I'm going to do is, so in this, what I'm going to do is, I'm going to assume that this disk, uh, the disk that we had earlier, has a surface uh, mass density of sigma. So this disk has a surface mass density of a sigma, and the hole that I've made into the disk has a surface mass density of minus sigma. Right, I'm going to assume that the hole has a surface mass density of minus sigma. That is, I'm going to assume that the hole has a negative surface mass density. Now, I know at this point you are pretty much amazed. But hold on for a second. In my previous videos, I have told you that uh, negative masses uh, do not exist. And now I'm telling you that this uh, hole has a negative mass. Actually, it is true that negative masses do not exist. But this assumption that I'm making is actually a mathematical trick. It is not physical. The holes do not have negative masses. But here I'm making an assumption. It is a trick using which I will solve. And you can verify that the answer that I get by using this trick matches with the answer that you have got by using the traditional method. So let us uh, quickly get into the solution. So the formula that I'm going to use is that RCUM is equal to the mass of the disk times the center of mass of the disk plus the mass of the hole times the center of mass of the hole divided by the mass of the disk plus the mass of the hole. Remember this formula that we derived in our previous video about how we can find the center of mass of two extended bodies, right? This, that same formula we are going to use over here. So let us quickly see what the various quantities uh, that are present in this formula are. What is the mass of the disk? The mass of the disk is nothing but sigma into pi into 2 r squared. That is because, as I told you, the radius of uh, the disk, the pre-existing disk is 2 r. And uh, what is the mass of the hole? The mass of the hole is going to be minus sigma 
into pi r squared. This is where the trick gets in. The mass of the hole is negative. It is not negative, but it is a trick. In this trick, we assume that the mass of the hole is negative. Next, we have the center of mass of the disk. Let us assume that the origin is at present over here at the center of the disk. And if that is the case, then the center of mass of the disk is present at the origin, which is zero. And what about the center of mass of the hole? The center of mass of the hole is present over here, which is at a distance of r from the origin. And hence, the center of mass of the hole is obviously going to be equal to r. Okay, so we have all the required ingredients so that we need uh, to find the center of mass of the remnant disk. And what we are going to do is substitute them into the formula. So I will get R C U N is equal to the center of mass of the disk is present at the origin. So that is zero. So I'm going to get mass of the hole, which is equal to minus pi R squared times the center of mass of the hole, which is equal to R as I told you, divided by I'm going to get the mass of the disk. The mass of the disk is pi or uh, sigma into pi into two r's the whole square, which is equal to four r square minus the mass of the hole, which is equal to now here minus because the mass of the hole is negative, right? This is where the trick comes in. So we have sigma into pi r squared. This is this the mass of the hole over here. So I will get a minus sigma into pi r squared. Okay, so you can see that a lot of stuff gets cancelled. For example, the sigma gets cancelled over here. The pi is going to get cancelled. The r squared get cancelled. Okay, and hence what I will be left with is that the center of mass of the remnant disk is equal to minus r upon 4 minus the 1. I will get a 3 in the denominator. So I will get r c o m, that is the center of mass of the remnant disk, is uh, equal to minus r by 3. Now you can compare this answer with the answer that you got by using this formula over here, right? The traditional formula. And you will see that this trick is so very simple to use that you don't have to solve any difficult integrals in a finding the center of mass of the remnant disk. In fact, the same trick is going to come into handy in our next chapter when we will try to find the moment of inertia of such bodies which have vehicle cells in them. But for now, don't worry much about it. Don't worry if you do not know what moment of inertia is. That is going to come later. For now, just observe how amazing, wonderful, and mind-blowing this method is. Negative masses do not really exist, but you can assume that holes have a negative mass. Superimpose them into bodies which have a positive mass and then find the center of mass of the body that remains at the end of the day. That is what makes physics so very powerful. And in fact, mathematics so very powerful. And if you want more such interesting videos uh, into more such uh, interesting tricks, then do not forget to subscribe to my channel. And also, if you like this video and you want to implement this trick further into solving more such uh, problems into in which uh, such vacancies are present, then do not forget to like this video. I hope you enjoyed this video. See you in the next one. Thanks for watching. <laughs>